we're going to do another jewelry jar bag actually <laughs> i haven't seen a jar in a while welcome to my channel i'm so glad you're here we're opening a, a mystery bag of jewelry we don't know what's in it we um are often pleasantly surprised with real treasure often disappointed a bit with trash that is part of the gamble here but it's still fun and i hope you enjoy doing it as much as i enjoy doing it with you and if you do i think you've arrived at the right channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give it a thumbs up as soon as you walk in the door and if you have to go do it before you leave thanks again for being here we're going to get started very shortly on this huge bag that cost me way too much money so let's keep our fingers crossed that i get at least seven things that are worthy of ten dollars <laughs> because i paid eighty dollars for it uh is that elvis in there is that oh no it's that um, high school musical let me also know how the screen is looking when we start sometimes i get a little robotic with the bad internet i'm not sure but we shall see don't forget to say hello in the chat because i'm hoping that i didn't disable the chat but let's get started and make a few cuts here Hey Liz, thanks for being here. What am I, oh my gosh, I almost cut into that wire there, which is sticking out and kind of dangerous. I think it's a brooch. Wow, can you see that? I almost cut right into that. All right, so here on this channel, we don't sell directly, but if there's ever anything you see in a haul that I bring out, don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in my description box. I do my sales over on Facebook on Saturdays. That information is in my description box as well. Here we just like to ooh and ah over jewelry. And hopefully we treasure hunt together. I also love to take you on ride along. Sometimes I record them, but I love doing them live. And again, if you like that sort of thing, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell as well. Be sure and click all so that you never miss another video, whether it's live or pre-recorded, you will be notified. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm <laughs> cutting into a whale's stomach or something. <laughs> We're making these tiny cuts. And I probably shouldn't do them this way. I should do it pretty uniformly. Somebody told me once that you don't get as many tangles if you start from one end or the other, but sometimes I just like to go right to the belly right to the belly of the beast let's say hello to a couple of friends first and then we shall get started hi Joni hey Tanya Rosario how are you Kimberly Jenny Vanessa I'm glad you're here Emily thank you so much for popping in and then we have Rianne Rayanne I'm sorry Rayanne what a beautiful name how are you I'm glad you're here and Yasvel, Doug, how are you, Doug? Jenny Schaffner is here as well. How's the weather in California, Doug? I heard it's a little dry. We've gotten pretty good rain so far. We really haven't experienced too much of a drought here in uh, Houston, but South Texas is always a little drier. Oh, okay this beautiful earring it's like a little bird's nest is the stream okay i love the color hey it's marked what does it say hong kong i think i i can read that it says hong kong but let me get my little loop to make sure i believe that's what it says yes indeed hong kong very, very vintage. Oh, how timely. Look who popped in over here. How timely. Look at Johnny Depp. <laughs> oh, that was entertaining. That took my mind off a lot of things watching that uh, trial. And it shouldn't have been. It was actually quite a sad story for everyone involved. Lots of... Uh, lots of dysfunction and abuse and... That's really not funny, but, you know, sometimes it just distracts you for a little while. 
I just pray everyone fares better after this debauchery that was the spectacle. Lots of interesting vintage earrings. I'm going to put them all over here and hopefully we'll find some matches. This one's pretty too. All right, a broken watch. Oh gosh, it's probably all broken today. Casio and it's running. Well, that's not bad. That might garner 10 bucks or so on on uh, eBay. You never know. Just needs a new band. And it's actually running. That's interesting. I love this one, too. Look at that sunny yellow earring. No marker on that. Got a cool ring here. Look at that. Oh, let me show you my rings. I'm wearing a beautiful ring that popped out of a jewelry jar years ago, about two years ago. It's got chalcedony stone, genuine pearls, sterling silver, gold over the bezel there. Uh, oh, this is that ring that I had sized into a pinky ring. I love this ring. I actually was trying to sell it a couple of years because it was way too small for my ring finger and still too big for my pinky, but I decided to go ahead and size it. And now it's perfect, and I, I usually wear it by itself on the pinky, kind of just a statement pinky ring, and I adore it. it actually reminds me of one, the reason I think I really like it. It reminds me of the diamond ring. One of the diamond rings my father had. It was set just like this, just gorgeous. But this one is cool. I don't know what it is. Let me see if it says sterling or anything. It looks like glass, but it's so rich. It's like something the Pope would wear or something, doesn't it? Let me see if it says anything. Thank you. Yeah, that's one of my favorite finds. I could not believe that popped out of a jar, but it did. This is just silver tone, but isn't it regal? Oh, and then over here I'm wearing... Um, Copper wrap, a blue lace agate that's actually copper, but it was silver tone. And I've just been cleaning it and cleaning it more and more, and the copper's finally coming through. This is a custom-made opal. Uh, just Sandy made this for me and gifted it to me. It's also got a diamond there, and, uh, yeah, she hand wrought that herself. With her own beautiful little hands. Love that. Okay, and then, ooh, look at these earrings. And just Sandy makes jewelry and sells jewelry here on YouTube. It's the name of her channel as well, Just Sandy. These are beautiful. I don't think they're anything expensive or anything, but I love green and blue together. So that's nice. They're not very heavy either. It's a nice pair. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up, guys. I really do appreciate it. I should keep it on the red one, right? Isn't it nice? Is it really? <laughs> it's very telling then, Miss Carol. Thanks for being here. It's his birthday. Wow. I never get any Johnny Depp stuff. I really don't. Or pirates. Now, we, we have some big pirate fans in this house. I've told you guys before, my daughter, my middle daughter is obsessed with anything pirate since she was in middle school. And we actually named her room when she left. She's, she's 30 now, and... She's been gone for a while. She's a teacher as well. and But when she moved out, all of her room was pretty much pirate-themed, and she had friends who, who were artists that could paint, and they painted pictures and murals and things of pirates, and we named the room the captain's room. <laughs> Instead of the guest room, that's what we called the, the room because we really didn't change much except put in a new bed. That's pretty. It's actually really glass down here and some pearls in rosary style. So they definitely loved the pirate movies, the Pirates of the Caribbean, and I even knit, for my daughter, I knitted her a huge scarf that looked like chains. I did basically a, a rope stitch and then intertwined them all, and it was like a huge chain. And she wore that to the midnight premiere of one of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. <laughs> It looks like someone tried to fix this back with some string instead of glue. Look at this. That is so interesting. Looks like it, it's a vintage brooch and it popped off. It's got a rivet. And then someone ingeniously stitched it back together. <laughs> How cool is that? Very cool. Oh, look at this. A little opalite. 
medallion thingy. It looks like it's set in sterling too. I love it. Oh my gosh, this is this is turning good. Let's see if I can untangle this thing. Okay, here it is. Yeah, this setting looks like sterling. Let me take a better look at it. How interesting. Let me get my loop here. Well, well, well. It's very dirty. I don't see a mark on the... I don't see a mark on the uh, bale, but it's kind of cool, isn't it? The chain feels like it's not sterling. It just feels a little too rough. But I will test that bezel setting because you never know. Sometimes things look like sterling and they're not, and sometimes they don't look like sterling and they are. Regardless, I love it. I think it's really pretty. It looks a lot bluer than it does on the camera kind of an opal like there. Then I saw this pop out. This looks like jade. And wow. Okay, I think this might be my 80 bucks right there. I'll have to run it looks like jade to me. Looks like the um, safety chain is broken. It's got a box clasp. It might be a vintage costume piece. Let me check and see what that is. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, I would say that's a bingo right now. I will just go out on a limb and say it's a bingo, even if it's just a costume silver tone. Because Jade was definitely... Yeah, it says 925, actually. No, it says STER, S-T-E-R, on the jump ring for the safety chain. Hey, Joby, how are you? So nice. Very nice. This is definitely mid-century jade here. It's actually bezel set. I mean, uh, prong set. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Even opals. My daughter just found a beautiful opal that she said was in my crafter, one of the crafter boxes I have. And the chain is just completely done with the color loss. But it's a genuine opal in there surrounded by some kind of glass stones this is awesome i love that that is pretty nice and then we have a butterfly with some faux howlite <laughs> wow lots of design on this one now does it still have a tag it does made in china is that all it says that's kind of cool let's look at this here Oh my gosh, someone just gave me a super chat for $49.99. Who was that? Oh, Christopher, you are so sweet. Thank you so much. You are just unbelievable. Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. I really appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Oh, wow. Look at this. Not a bad looking bright necklace, actually. The rhinestones are still all around the butterfly, and it imitates how like quite nicely, doesn't it? <laughs> that is really nice. All right, I am liking this jar already. I really am. There's just so much going on. Oh, look at this earring. Look at this. This is layer upon layer upon layer. Very nice, unmarked, but gorgeous. Thank you, I buy chit. I really do appreciate it, Christopher. Best name on YouTube. Okay, these are matched. These little daisies are matched. They've lost some of their color, but not their charm, right? Aren't they amazing? Look at that. They're unmarked as well. They're very nice metal and enamel. 
Those are beautiful. And then, is this an ID? No, it's a necklace. Oh gosh. This might take a while. <laughs> this might take a little while with this tangle here. Is this chain is in here? Okay, there it goes. Oh, I don't want to damage either one. <laughs> Thank you so much, Vanessa. You're right. <laughs> and that's all I need now that I'm off for the summer. Half a tank to make it to some estate sales Saturday. That'll last me all week. Because <laughs> when I'm driving to work, I have to fill up every Thursday. Okay, this is kind of a soft tinny metal. So that's why it was easy to take that chain out of there. But it's also vintage and it is signed. So let's see what it says. Coro. Wow. Coro, but she is missing a couple of rhinestones. Still beautiful. Nice study, though. Look at that. It's a Coro. I've never seen a Coro signed like that on the car on the little rivet area here, on the pin. But there it is in script, Coro. And maybe the rhinestones fell in the bag. Sometimes they do. Look at all of these vintage earrings. I just made a frame to hold brooches out of some old earrings because my cat was playing and dropped the frame. It was actually like on a picture frame. I got it like that on Amazon. He broke the frame totally in half, so all I had was the inside. And so I just framed it with a gold chain. I don't have it right now, I'll show it to you all later. And then put a few brooches on the corners, or old earrings. This is pretty too. This is a nice vintage brooch as well. Usually the vintage brooches will have the little rivet, just something to note. And um, that's kind of a telltale sign of a vintage brooch. I like this one. This one's different with the double. And the black and white is always nice. Oh, look at the yellow one. How pretty is that one? Okay, sometimes <laughs> this looks like a real flower and <laughs> a piece of something. Coffee filter, maybe. Oh, let me see who else popped in here. Sanja, how are you? Glad you're here. Yeah, it is better than a bad glue job. You're right about that. Many pieces have been ruined with glue. This is such a pretty one. This, was, this one is very different. Look, this one looks like it may have had a long stem and it broke or they broke it off. But it's beautiful. That is really nice. I like the way Tanya did hers. I don't know what she, how she did it on a mural behind her or something. It's so pretty. But um, I, and then some people put them on lampshades. I think that's beautiful too, with the same types of brooches all around. This is a charming pendant. Okay, but it is plastic and it's going in a crafter lot. What is this? Michoacan. Got a monkey. Michoacan monkey, right? Kuroga. Who, what is that? I don't know what Kuro. Maybe it's a... Maybe it's a liquor. I don't know. Or a nightclub or something. I have no idea. I know Michoacan is in Mexico. Oh my goodness. We got a match. These are beautiful. Oh, I love these. I am really surprised they are not marked. They are made quite nicely. Look at all those dangles in that beautiful London blue topaz color. Nice. Got a broken earring. Got a match to those earrings and these. So we are getting some match on these vintage pieces. And this one is a screw back. See a little vertigree, but sometimes that comes off with ketchup. And sometimes you don't even need the ketchup or acid. I've been using my um, bacterial wipes that we had a, a mountain of in my classroom. They were starting to dry out, so I 
use them anywhere I can and they clean jewelry quite well look at this one this one is not real silver could be a real turquoise chunk I'm not sure I have to take a better look at it but it's interesting look at that twist back vintage design there interesting oh look at this one this one's heavy it's little baguettes baguettes I don't even know baguettes baguettes how pretty very deco oh, I hope we get a match to that charm bracelet no it's a key ring T um, Texas tack possibly Greek I don't know I don't know so cute though I don't think that's Texas tack oh, what is this a pretzel a Day of the Dead, dude? I don't know. Hold on. Let me see if I can find a pillow to show him to you. He is so cute. What, what do you think that is? He's wearing like a hat. I think he looks like a band leader. Um, like a marching band leader. I can't quite tell. What do you think? my goodness what do I teach I teach everything I teach sixth seventh and eighth graders in a life skills classroom middle school so they get all their subjects from me the only thing they go out for in the uh, general ed population is their electives either art um, theater or music these are karma just some little I don't know boho style I can't tell what they are little turquoise beads they were $16 though probably from Dillard's or something yeah that's what I teach oh this is a beautiful earring look at the fleur-de-lis on this and that is a real pearl I can tell from here that's nice. I hope we get the match to that. I don't think it's silver. But it's pretty. And more single earrings. We'll match. I'll show them to you if they match up. Oh, another. Ooh, look at this one. I love the equestrian pins. And jewelry. Is this a... Um, almost looks like a Don Quixote or something. Because he's not really saddled up. I don't know. What do you think? Or you think he's a racehorse? Lost a little enamel, but still pretty. And this was... Uh, oh, look. This is the part that goes on here, I think. No, because this is green. And this is black. No, this is something else. Okay. Well, we, we'll find it then. A key. Probably a jewelry box key. And I need one. Here's a gold... A gold medallion. Don't think it's real gold. It's not marked. Where's my magnet? It's not a very strong magnet, but... Oops. Sorry about the shaking, guys. We'll test that. And... Another one. These are matched 80s style. They're sticky. Gotta wash those. Okay. What is this? Oh, Christmas brooch. Season's greetings. That's a pretty one. Very pretty one. Guys, I've been listing on eBay really diligently these last two days. And I sold them. <laughs> it's like these things have been sitting around for years. But once you start listing again, it's like it... I don't know, it generates something and you start selling old merchandise. Yeah, I sold a Disney mug. It said, oh look, another, this is, this is the necklace. Uh, yeah, I sold an old Disney mug made in Korea. And it has Mickey and then it says sister on it. I can't believe it. And I sold some shorts. And what else? What else? Some shorts and a blouse a rockabilly blouse that I actually got from Donatella 
Christopher is Donatella's good friend. Yeah, I got a whole box of clothes from Donatella, and that rockabilly shirt was in there, and that sold today. Look at the necklace, guys. This is filigree and jade and amazing and sterling, and it's got the matching bracelet and necklace. Wow, if the earrings pop in, pop out of here, I'm going to yell. That is so cool. That's my 80 bucks right there for sure. For sure. And it's not even broken. It's got the jump ring working. It's choker. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at that filigree score out. Oh my gosh, that is just awesome. I cannot even believe it. That is so cool. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. That's some kind of earring. Here's another religious. This one is sterling and super heavy. Probably Creed or something. And it's St. Jude. St. Jude. Pray for us. Catholic metal. Yeah, I remember that style. Definitely mid-century style. And then it just has um, sterling at the bottom here. And then it has Christ on one side and St. Jude on the other. Look at that high relief on that. That is amazing. Can you see that? This is hefty. That's a nice piece. There's some dead rhinestones on this one, but this is an old earring. And we got these old earrings matched up. <gasps> these remind me, I'm looking at them and I'm thinking Eisenhower era. Wife, what was her name, Mamie? Or they called her Mamie, I don't know, that could not be her name, is it? <laughs> and another earring. These are pretty silver beads and hematite beads those are beautiful i like those drops oh look at these teeny little clips but they're like little domes and we did get the match on these sunny these remind me of the sun aren't those pretty <laughs> okay right i should yell Oh my goodness. The stream is good. Awesome. Good. Oh, that is so cool. And we got these. These need to be clean, but they are old. Are these marked? These are marked too. Let's see what they say. They probably say Hong Kong. They're brass at the back. They say Saint. They say Germany. Oh, they say West. I only say ST. West Germany. West Germany is the mark on those. We got a kid's bracelet. Sammy. I don't know a Sammy. Oh, and I, my daughter used to have a friend named Sammy in high school. Oh, another brooch. This one is actually a pendant too. You think they belong to one lady? Yeah, that's what I think. It's so interesting because... These, this is, needs to be clean, but these are all glass. And I bet it'll sparkle up a bit once I get it washed. It does have a foil back. What, I'm donating constantly to the Goodwill. And it's as soon as I donate them, they're stripping the bags. They're, they're you know, packaging it all up, putting it where it needs to go. And within an hour, it's on the floor. It's on the floor. So, yeah, you could be right. Somebody donates their entire collection these are interesting earrings very cool kind of modernist looking little rhinestones all around just one now so let's move on oh i love the mini brooches look at this teeny thing oh these are so cute hi miss kathleen this is darling i love these this kind of reminds me of the one you bought for me miss kathleen look i'd make a nice scatter pin with it I'll have to save that for you for next time. 
I'll put it aside because that will match that pretty nice. You can wear a little scatter thingy. And you said you wore it as a, as a pendant, though, didn't you? Wow, this is a nice one, guys. Look at this. This is glass. That is a beautiful, rich color of blue. And it is marked. I don't know what it says. Liz? No, let me see. WH. What is WH? SB. It says SB on one side and then WH on the other. I don't know who that is, but this is a beautiful necklace. And it's really nice faceted glass beads. The blues actually kind of have a dimension of different colors running through it. And then black spacers. When the world fell down. Something's always falling around me. That is really nice. Okay. Oh, how cute is that earring? Look at that drop. Clip. No mark on it. Oh, these are cute. Look at these big drops. They are really cute. Tangled up with this other one, but yeah. These are cut. I think they're wood or some kind of resin. Pretty colors. Uh, this bracelet is broken. Interesting. I don't think this is vintage. I think it was just trying to look that way. So I'll put that in a crafter lot. Bingo! <laughs> One earring, Vanessa. I'm not yelling yet, but look at that. The earrings now. And they are twist back. So I think these may be pre-50s. Wow. What a lucky score, right? And this one says Sterling. Then I think it even says the name Sorrento on the top. I'm going to let you take a good close-up look so you can see. Hopefully you can read it. See, it says Sterling at the bottom and then on the top looks like it says Sorrento. There's some kind of name. I'll have to research it, but wow, I'm really amazed. I hope I find the, the mate. If I find the mate, and if I don't find the mate, I'm going to cry. <laughs> That'd be an awesome parole. <laughs> right? Oh, wow, that's a cool ring. A little Johnny Depp style. We're into Johnny today. Look at that. Did you guys notice Johnny was wearing lots of rings, of course, but he, he would switch. He would wear gold and silver. Some days he had gold on. This is nice. Very nice. It's a cross. It's heavy. Gold plating on it. Look, it's even got little holes drilled out of the back, bringing some light. They might be some kind of crystal. I love it. I wish it was big enough for a thumb ring. It's not, and it'll probably be too tight with those wide bands. They get a little tight on me. Okay, the other earring is here. Nice for the genuine pearl. So that's nice. I know I was looking at this, and then I didn't show it. This is um, this is a genuine stone in here. Some kind of an agate, but this is silver tone. And the chain is pretty. Let me see if the chain is marked. That's a really nice color, isn't it? I love this kind of chain. 68 people watching. Can you guys give me a thumbs up? Don't forget, if you're leaving, this is silver tone as well. It's all silver tone, but that's an amazing kind of a lavender agate or something in there. Really pretty. Very Lots of veiny matrix, and we did get the match to the little 
almost looks like a little nest of eggs or something. These got matched up too. Got some tiger eye. We got some charms. And this one says here cheer. Little cheerleader themed charms. Looks like they're all silver tone. Someone was probably gonna make a bracelet or something out of that. And then we have a gold earring. I don't think it's real gold. Here it is, here it is. We got the other earring. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So we've got, what is it, a demi paru paru Look at that, I'm so excited about that. Necklace, bracelet, sterling, jade, filigree. 50s, definitely 50s. I guess in the late 50s is when they brought the clip to replace the screw, the, tr the twist back. Oh, we got three pit. <laughs> we got three of these. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Look at this rose quartz. What is this? A clip on earring too? A bead fella. What a beautiful earring. These are like the color of tanzanite. Let me see if I can clip it on. Checked all the boxes. <laughs> Look at that. I think I recall the Saren. Okay, Saren. Sarento. Okay, I'll have to look up that name. That's what it looks like it says. Look at this beautiful modernist earring. I hope I find the other one. That is so pretty. I hate showing you the earrings when they're single, but I can't resist it when they're so cute. Look at that, a little Christmas star. This could be sterling. Let me check the mark on the... No, I don't believe it is. Sometimes the snake chains fool me. They always look like sterling, but this is silver tone, and it's just got some kind of a Christmas star on there. These are the earrings that went to the broken bracelet, and then here's the necklace. I guess... I don't know. I think it's pretty worn out, though. Even the, the little white discs in there are kind of faded out. So I'll just put that in a crafter lot. Maybe someone can dye it or something. Okay, we got two of the rings with the crosses. We're definitely going to do the Johnny Depp look with all of these like that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> those are fun. I like those. Those are heavy. More vintage earrings. Look at these twists back. At least they're together as well. Little blue crystals. Nice. This was a nice lot of earrings. Yeah, I think Vanessa's right. I think some someone got into Grandma's estate, had to clean it out, had to clear it out, and donated it all to the Goodwill. How sweet. How sweet for us that get to have these. I showed you those already. We matched those up. That was exciting. All right, here's a little stretchy with some Hamsa hands on that bracelet. Rubber bands, because we need rubber bands in a jewelry bag. That's what happens. Let me take a sip, guys, and say hello to a few more people. Thanks again for hitting the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. The subscribe button is right there on your right. You missed Johnny the trial? <laughs> I'm going to start watching the, the Pirates of the Caribbean movies again. I think I've only seen one of them, actually, one or two. I wasn't obsessed like my daughters are. Let me see. I think I said hi to everyone. If I didn't see you guys, don't think I... Did it on purpose. I just tried to get through the jewelry. I think I said hello to Miss Jenny. All right, we will move forward again. Barb, how are you, Barb? Hope you're doing okay. This is a nice bracelet. That's a nice amethyst 
coming out of it. Look at this. This is chunky and pretty and heavy. Nice. That is beautiful. Great condition. Surprised it's not marked. It's probably a contemporary piece. Really nice. Oh, wow. I was telling my husband to find some more jewelry jars. I'm running low. I'm running low of jars. But there's always more somewhere. I need to go to that other thrift store that had them pretty cheap. Hippie jewelry here. What in the world? Little rolled up pieces of leather or something. People like all kinds of things, though. Don't they? Everybody, I mean, that's the thing about jewelry. It's your personality, your expression, and that's why I hate kind of downing things, you know, and bashing things, even if it's paparazzi or whatever, because, you know, not everybody can afford a vintage Monet or a genuine Tiffany, but everybody can go to the mall and find something or make something or buy it on the beach or whatever, and if it makes you feel good when you put it on, that's what matters. That is what matters. That's value right there. All right, another either a gentleman's necklace. This reminds me of a like a surfer dude or something might wear that. Okay, this is one that I think is amethyst. Hi Emily Ramirez, how are you? We've got some amber too. This purple one looks like amethyst. Yeah, it is amethyst. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I hope it's not broken. Because the way I had to pull on it, yeah, there's the, it's not broken there. These are all amethyst strung together. And it is still intact. And I think it's sterling. Nice. This one, okay, this bag has paid for itself triple don't you agree look at that look at these beautiful there's some chevron matrix in that there's all colors from light to dark I love, love, love the juxtaposition of all of these look at that even a little chip a little sliver Cabochon speeds. Amazing. This is a beautiful necklace. It's probably 30 something inches long. And let me just check the mark. Don't see a sterling mark on it. Could just be on silver. Stop. They're soldered very nicely though. But I will test them. It pop, maybe it was a Chico's or something. This Chico's always uses genuine stones. Look at that gorgeous piece. Look how pretty that would look folded too. Coiled around your neck like that with all of those different cuts of amethyst. I love it. Hope you can see that. Wow. And they're just little flower motifs simple link amazing just amazing love that amazing <laughs> I can't stop saying amazing I'm sorry let me come up closer again thank you yes I think that's really nice okay what's this silver thing Let me go over here and see what falls out. It is a pretty watch. Is this one running? No, I thought, look at my hands. I thought it was running as well. This is a nice one. This one says RJ Graziano. And it is a nice, chunky gold chain with faux tortoise shell. What a beautiful watch. It's not broken. It has like a fold-over clasp here. And I'm hoping it looks new, does not even look scratched. I did order some batteries, so 
I'll be offering some really nice watches if anybody's interested. And like I said, all the information to my auctions on Facebook are in the description box below. It's a free group, but it's a private group. So you need only uh, click OK that you agree to the policies of being nice and cordial and stuff. And then you can join me on Saturdays. And I may do them on Fridays once in a while as well. We shall see. But uh, that's where I sell jewelry and accessories, handbags, that kind of thing. But again, like I said, if you ever see anything in the hall, just shoot me an email. That information's in the description as well. This looks like a sterling chain. I don't know what this is. Yeah, this is a sterling chain with matching earrings. The earrings are sterling too. Highly polished, highly plated, probably rhodium plated, but they all match. I'm not going to bother untangling them right now, but I will show you the marks on the earrings are right here. And the mark on the chain is right there on the little thingy. On the little blade. I call it a blade, but it's not. The little blade thingy. So that's nice. That's a nice set. Just rings. Rings on the pendant. And then the matching earrings. Very cool hoop earrings. Not overly large or anything, just a nice size. Very nice. And they were tangled up in here, which is really sticky and a mess. So I need to open it. To, I, you know what it is? It's actually the residue from the glue itself there. I'm going to take those out of there. And these are just department store. I don't know where they sell this brand. Craft and borrow, but they're not bad. Little earrings there. Let me throw that away. Okay, there was amber in here. Here it is. I'm not sure if it's genuine amber. We shall see. Strikes me a little bit on the faux side, but you never know. And it is on a gold toggle with a leather cord. Hey, old hippie girl. How are you? Hi, Jenny. He makes jewelry from HSN. Who does, Vanessa? The one with the vintage? No, couldn't be. Hmm. Okay, black jewelry. This may be broken. No, it's not. It's just twisted. And it's a bracelet. Oh, the watch? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I need to watch more H's since I can get familiar with all of these designers. When um, Linda sent me all that beautiful jewelry and Kirk's Folly things, some of those watches were just incredible. And I'll bet they were, a lot of them, she told me, were from the shopping networks. Okay. So that probably has a matching bracelet. M.A., I don't know what that is, but it's a nice copper prize, I guess. Some kind of recognition there. A jack. <sighs> I was good at jacks. Jacks and pickup sticks were my game. There it is there. They should have put it on a ring or something. And these are one of the ones that can roll on your wrist. A little beaded one. Oh, we did match these vintage earrings, too. These are nice drops. Clips. Look at these giant hoops. These are light, too. They're like plastic. They're pretty, though. A little fringe tassel. And what is this? This is a bracelet that is not 
silver kind of wants to imitate the um, Tiffany don't believe that's silver but I will double check it oh my gosh look at all the price <laughs> For my next garage sale or if I ever open a thrift store or something, a brick and mortar store. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that is crazy. I guess they figure you're ready to have a sale. <laughs> right, Vanessa? I was good at pickup sticks too. <laughs> TWDF. Oh my gosh, this is worn to bits. I'm going to slide off these and put them in a crafter and throw away the band. But I'll do it later. <laughs> That's insane. That oh look, there's more. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna complain too much after that parer. That's incredible. Here's another piece of amethyst, guys. You see what I'm saying? How can I complain <laughs> when this bag keeps on giving after it slaps you in the face with rubber bands? <laughs> With rubber bands and tags from a store, <laughs> probably a defunct thrift store or something, then it gives you amethyst. Okay, let's undo this one. Oh my gosh, because it's tangled up in here. Okay, okay. Wow, look at this graduated amethyst I think that's silver tone but it is marked so let's see what it says <laughs> got it it's, it's sterling guys it's mark 95 right there in a cartouche wow very cool this is a bingo bag I'm just going to retitle the video bingo bag wow we nice jump ring on this one too big old jump ring the jump ring does not look like silver i don't know if any regular silver jump ring could hold the weight of this necklace look at that this is like 24 30 inches long i would say 24 inches long and look at those incredible amethyst beads. And those are genuine amethyst. What a be this is like a ballet design there. Balinese design. Amazing. This is amazing. I think you're right, Vanessa. I think the same. It seems like everything is, is kind of uniform, you know? Like the, the kind of jewelry someone may have collected really rich jewelry and then the vintage things from yesteryear so cool wowie i'm amazed i really really am what is this black ring how cute that is like a druzy gone bad i think someone wanted to dye it or maybe that's the way they did it but that's like an agate inside and then i think it's like poor dye in there see how it's dripping it's almost like bleeding and this is like wood some kind of wood or resin it's not going to fit me it's so wide that it's um too tight in the middle finger that is so cool though and then it's too big on the ring finger yeah that's like some kind of exotic wood bezel set either a rose quartz or some kind of an agate there that's interesting okay we have a broken statement necklace this is the statement necklace that has been overplayed i've seen it a million times someone just needs to turn it into a bracelet with some matching earrings so i'll put that in a crafter lock and that'll be a good project for someone another ring this one's glass as well clear clear frosted glass on that very cool a stretchy shell two two of them okay i think someone was redoing something here 
with a vintage clip on. And let's see what else. This red one's pretty. Oh, it's a rosary. Of course it's pretty. Oh, it's a broken rosary. Okay. Wow, that's a serious rosary. It's heavy. And it's got the stations here. I wonder if they're actually written out. Yes, it is. The resurrection. It's got all the stations of the cross. That's amazing. The ascension. Institution. Holy Eucharist. Wow, that's a nice one. I'll have to get this one repaired. All I have to do is hook it back together. Very nice. And it's got some nice red AB crystals on it. And here's a piece of it there. So that's going to be a fix it up project for Robert. And we got the matching modernist rose quartz. Look at these. These are amazing. I'm so surprised they're not marked. Let me put them on here so you can see them pretty well. See them better. That's a genuine rose quartz inside. So cool. Look at that. And that's the back. Wow. Very cool. I'm really surprised I don't see a mark at all. To show you the way they're made, maybe you recognize that. Some people know all the ins and outs of vintage jewelry. Look at these were matched too. These are gorgeous. This is the prettiest seafoam green deco. Are you guys still there? Say hello. I feel like the chat just stopped. It's very lonely without you guys talking. These are awesome. All right, these are for your specs. How cute. Put a little brooch, and then you can hang your specs there or whatever else you want. I guess you could maybe even put a charm. They're so cute. Little cat eye with AB crystals. Thank you, hippie girl. Thank you guys for saying hello. <laughs> It felt very lonely for a minute. Oh, look at this. Wow. And it articulates. That's Oh, and they match. Here we got a match on these earrings. Wow. They weigh a ton. I'll tell you that right now. But you could wear them for an hour. Take some pictures and you're done. Oh, they're gorgeous. They are the color of champagne. Just beautiful. Those are very nice. We have a little... I think it's got a flag inside. It's got kind of a, or maybe it's an eye. I can't quite tell. And we did match up these modernist earrings. These are nice too. Look at those. These look like a Chico's too. For some reason, that metal reminds me of Chico's. Hi, Sandra. Thanks for coming in. Here's another little metal. A little praying. Um, Mother Mary there. Oh, look at this enamel ring. This is pretty. It's kind of burgundy color. That'll go with all those crosses, don't you think? Oh, it fits me perfect. Look at that. Oh, we're wearing gold. Oh, I love it. I know, right, Vanessa? Awesome. I'm glad. These are matched too. I think they're just gold tone, little tiny studs. And let's see what else. Huge earring here. It's kind of messed up though, so I will put that in the crafter. Look at this ring. That's really cool too. This little green bubbly thing. It's adjustable. And another glass ring, leopard print, cute. 
more medals. Polo, I think it's no bolo, polo, solo. What does it say? Solo, university, inner, something or the other. So I got some medals here. I'll put those in a crafter lot as well. And this one says American Drill Team School. Wow. <laughs> Another watch. I think this is Geneva. <laughs> right, Becky? Well, you can see me on Saturday. Yeah, this is Geneva. This is cool. It's uh, camo. Camo is forever. Yes, it is. Okay. Watches. Oh, these ribbons from the, what was this, 90s? When these ribbons were in, in vogue, everyone had their big, heavy, chunky pearls and things on a, on a ribbon with organza running through it and all kinds of stuff like that. That can easily be put on a chain, though. It's already festooned. You just need to put it on a chain. But these are very comfortable. You just need to wash them. More rubber bands. A stretchy bracelet says love. Hearts on it. And what else is here? Oh, this is pretty. Look at this. Ah, oh, some are missing. What a bummer. I can make a bracelet. And it looks like it was vintage. Look at that. They're like little moonstones. Yeah, we could make a bracelet out of that. What a shame. Because there's quite a few. You'd have to attach a few. Because every other one is missing. So strange. But that would have been so pretty. If it wasn't missing half the stones. What a shame. And those are moonstones. Hmm. All right, it's got a shell attached to some glass beads. I may have to save those opals or moonstones to harvest. They would make some nice eyes or something on a broken critter brooch or something. You never know when you would need those. This one says Sarah. And it is only one. And here's the shell. Pretty colors. I'm just not too crazy about the ribbon part, but I do like the look of this this orange bead. That's that. And they are matching to the bracelet, those earrings. So far we have some more matching. Kind of antique gold colored. Dangle earrings on that. What is this? A little tag. A little dangle earring on this one. It's, these are matching. Little agates. Reddish. Oh, that's pretty. These are matching too. Silver tone earrings and beautiful chain does anybody know what they call this chain I think it's got a long name I always forget it's so pretty though and they're usually for holding your specs which I don't like I don't use but this is a nice chain there's always a medallion waiting for a nice chain. Very long, very pretty. This would be really nice for one of those magnifying glass pendants or for a locket. Perfect. Really good condition, too. Huge jump ring on that. Another part of the rosary there. 
Oh, look at these earrings. Wow. Double hearts. <laughs> Is it? Maybe you'll find something, Liz. Keep looking. These are so cute. It's like one heart on top. Or do those come Oh No. They almost look like they should come off. No, they don't. Okay. Well, those are interesting. And this is like a leopard. Did I get a match to that? No, I don't think so. I love this ring. It is really pretty. Here's a cute little bracelet. Some rings on it. Now we got some plastic kid jewelry or Mardi Gras jewelry or something. We got red, purple, blue. More kid jewelry. This is tiny. And we got a cha cha ring. This one says, I love you on the inside. It looks like stainless. Oh, it's all hearts. That is so cute. This looks like stainless steel. That's a gorgeous ring. I like red. It just says, I love you, and it's a, it says seven. So I guess it's a size seven. It's a seven, and it's a super wide band, so it won't fit my... <laughs> I mean, it probably will... No, it's loose. It's so cute, though. These are hearts. The red beads are hearts. Bezel set hearts. Can you see how pretty? And that cha cha setting goes all the way around your hand, around your finger, rather. That is so cute. Oh, there went my loop. This is broken or something. What fell? Oh, no, it's my opal ring. Let me get that. I I took it off. Okay. A tiny bangle. It's like a tiny kid's bangle. I think it has a kid right there. That's interesting. Another junky little kid bangle. And these are for your specs. Someone made these. Nice beads on those. And a gold pearl earring. That one's pretty. I don't know if I saw a match. Another hippie necklace here. Kind of a twisted wire purple cross. And some more plastic beads here. These are pastel shades. I've never seen those in this color. But there's two strands here. Don't want to take that chain with it. Come on. Okay. Whoa. There it goes. All right, let me get this in a crafter lot. Interesting colors. These are the kind of beads, well, sometimes you can use these beads like to frame things, like what I did with that frame to make an earring, an earring port. So there's lots of things you can make out of even the junky stuff. This is, I don't know how they managed to use this as a hair accessory. I would be so scared to pop that. But I think that's what they did. Thanks again for hitting that thumbs up. I appreciate it. This is plastic. It's black and white. It's really tiny. I'm sure it's vintage. Wow. This is probably like a 14 inch. But it's, it's actually quite chic. I like it black and white black and white I have to put that in a bath this is an extender I think or it broke off from a Stella and Dot and there was a silver chain here that kept popping off another rubber band Some one single earring there I think we matched these up and these lots of matched earrings Another chain here. Let's see what this one says. 
looks like it's silver tone but let's double check that that lobster claw yeah no mark on it I think it's just silver tone it's very weighty and then it's like a popcorn chain this one is silver tone as well it's got a charm though oh how cute this is glass crystal this is really a cute one looks like a Brighton style I don't think it is you can see a little bit of the silver fading there though yeah I think I just want it to look like a Brighton it's really pretty <clears throat> and it is excuse me it is glass crystals that pretty heart very nice my gosh I'm shaking so much and there's that extender got those matched this matches the earrings that were attached from Barton and something or the other and then this necklace is silver tone as well it's not broken though so you can see all that glue from the packaging that's actually what ruined the jewelry the packaging how interesting I like this it does have a tangle but it's nice little stations of plates here almost like ID plates very cool very long it's a jump ring on that possibly vintage I like this a lot that's pretty that'll give off some nice reflection another charm necklace okay I think they had the the pearl attached with a ribbon there and it's got some keys and some rondelles and the chain is nice and we've got some shell in blue triple strand dyed shell I'm so afraid of these type of beads I always feel like they're going to disintegrate I don't know what they're made of sometimes they're made of this material that's not waterproof <sighs> okay and this one is missing the jump ring tribal looking we did get a match on the black jewelry that um, had the matching bracelet well that was a bingo regardless the end was a little bit blah but wow amethyst to throw up in the air I'm telling you jade full peru amazing 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 wonderful rings and things and amazing vintage earrings I'm just enthralled with all of this beautiful vintage jewelry these brooches were fabulous thank you for joining me i hope you enjoyed it come back again soon i hope to bring you more videos now that i'm off for the summer so again make sure you subscribe hit that subscribe button on the right and hit the bell for all notifications consider joining the channel as a member support the content here when you do that you actually get some perks over at my auctions on facebook so take a look at that it starts at about three dollars a month i think but I appreciate your time so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Good night.